Hi, I'm Stephen Lewandowski. I'm a professor of cognitive science at the University of Bristol. That means I study how people think and how they make decisions. And my particular research interest is in misinformation and fake news. I'm interested in why people sometimes believe things that are false and why it can be difficult to correct that. I'm also interested in why people sometimes reject scientific facts and don't believe them. How does the public view the role of science, in particular during a pandemic? Now, one of the interesting things that we've observed in 2020 in many countries is that early on when the pandemic started and people started dying, all of a sudden the public's respect for scientists and for science increased considerably. In Germany, for example, it more than doubled. All of a sudden, experts were again recognized as being the people who can manage and help us get through complicated problems such as the pandemics. And so now the question is, will that have lasting consequences or will people at the end of the pandemic again start to dismiss experts more? An important question that has come up during the pandemic is the relationship between democracy and populism. Now, there is a lot of evidence to suggest that the more people vote for populist countries, the more they're also rejecting scientific findings. In Europe, the greater the share of populist votes, the greater the amount of vaccine hesitancy. And so what seems to, to have become apparent is that there's an antagonistic relationship between populism, which appeals to emotion and stokes outrage on the one hand, and evidence-based democratic policymaking on the other. What are we gonna do about social media? If there's one thing we've learned over the last few years is that social media is the greatest vector for the dissemination of disinformation and false information. During the pandemic, a lot of conspiracy theories about COVID originated on social media and spread like wildfire. There is evidence that false news spreads faster and further than correct information on Facebook and other social media platforms. So one of the defining questions of democracies in the 21st century is going to be how do we manage and govern social media for the public good and not to the public's detriment. The pandemic has turned the world upside down. It's revealed every single weakness in our societies, but it has also opened up an opportunity for radical change and for us to have conversations about the fundamental things about science, democracy, and populism that we have to resolve for a productive future.